Hello, my name is Lilish. For this tutorial, I utilized yarn number four, green and orange leftovers material from another project. A hook 3.75 mm, a keychain for the top and decoration, needles, the scissors, and a little bit of stuffing. Let's get to work. We're going to start by leaving a tail of approximately eight inches. Then in here we do a slip knot and from here we're going to chain 28. So very easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight up to 28 for this particular size. I'll see you shortly. Now we chain 28. We're going to do one chain up. This is to start our next row. So we do single crochet in this stitch right here. And in every single stitch, we do one single crochet. That's two, and we are make. We have to make sure that we're going to do 28. When you get to the end, we don't want to use the one that we made the slip knot. So the last stitch will be right here. That should give us 28. I will continue this, and I'll see you over here when I have my 28 single crochet. For the next row, we're going to do. Two chain up and turn around and we work on front post and back post double crochet. So if this is our first one here, I'm going to count this one. So the next one will be front. We'll use right here this this right here. Okay, so this right there and this right here and right there that will be our front post so let's go ahead and yarn over and do it right there and we get our double crochet right there now we're going to do it in the back so for the back same we identify where it is. It's right here and here, but it will be in the back. So, right here and right there, like that. That's how the back will go. And this part over here on the top, notice, not in here. It will go just the same location. It will go right there. So we have here and here, turn this way, and that's our back double crochet. Now we do a front, it'll be right here, and that's our front. Now we're going to go to the back again, right here and right there, and Kind of hold this to help us get it to out, get to out, and then the next one in the front, right here, and we finish. And we go to the back, right there. Okay, let's review the back is right here. Here, bring the material, raise it up a little bit, finish it up. And the next one is the front, right here, and so on. I'll see you at the end here. We are at position 26, we finished the front post, so now we're going to do the back one. Okay, so we go here here get this material 
Oh, get wow, get wow. That's the back one. Now the front is going to be our last stitch here. This right here. But as you know, we don't have anything else put on there, so we're going to just put it right there. That's our front. So this is the front. This is the back because when we put it together, it will make sense. So now we do two up, turn our work, and because this is the back, we leave this alone and we start the front right here and here and in here to align with the front. And we make our front right there. And the next one will be the back. So here, here, in the back, right here, in the back, and the next one will be the front, right there, the next one is the back, and we're going to do one front together, and we'll continue same repetition this way I'll see you when you when we get here here we're at 26 of them so now we're going to do we're in the front so we're gonna go ahead and do the back again the back is here in the back here so we go here and here And I like to do the ones, these two ones together because it's a little harder. Bring the material there, and that's the back. And the front, as we discussed, because we're in the last one, we're gonna do it right there. So that's our front. And we are going now up, and turn around, and we do the same repetition. So if this was the back, this is going to be the front, right here. That's our front. Now we're going to the back. It's going to be from here and here, right? So there, there and there in the back. The back. So let's do that here and here. Bring the material this way, pull it up, and get it out. That's the back, let's do the front, and continue. I'll continue doing a couple of, a uh, few more rows, and then I'll see you shortly. I completed the desired number of rows that I wanted to make. So now I am ready to close this right here. So this is, um, doesn't matter which side, whatever you like, they're both the same. So they're pretty much the front, the back, they look the same. So let's go ahead and close this. So we're going to match here as much as we can and Let's go ahead and start by selecting here, select this guy here on the top, that's at my top, bring it this way, and then we go to the next one here, and right there, and close it. Go to the next one right there and right here. We close that and we continue doing slip stitch between here and here all the way to the end. And then this, and we do the next step. We close here with the slip stitch all the way and now I have one more to do here and this at the top and I'm going to do it right here and we'll close this this way. I'm going to cut this material here 
because I'm going to use this tail. I leave the tail because we're gonna need it. I'm gonna cut a little piece over here to close this. So we get this one out. Gonna get rid of the slip knot that we started at the beginning because I don't like how bulky it is. So we need to just get rid of. Very easy here. We tied this over here. See how it is tied in there? And now we use this material to make this smaller. So we go this way. We go here, bring this tail to the back. So we bring this like that in here. it through here bring it all the way here continue bring it around Now that we brought it all the way to the beginning, we're going to tie this up. Let's tie that, make like that, and then this, we're going to put it to the, to the back in here. This time we're going to stuff it. We put stuffing in there, we leave this there, we stuff it, make sure it is shaky the way we want it. And now with this we're going to tie this one here. So we get this material here and then we go and bring it here bring it here bring it here Now we finish uh, putting it all around. We tie this like that. For the top, we're going to do a little stem looking. We'll do a magic ring. I will do six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, close this, and now we're going to work in the back loop, we'll do right here, we do one, we do two, the next one we do three, right there so this is creating the the top let's do a couple more couple more rounds and we're going to do regular now we're not going to do just the loop so 
that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, with this, this is gonna go right here, right there. So now, I'm going to do in the outside loop only. So, I'm going to do right here in this loop. I'm going to do increases. That's two. We find the next loop. That's one loop. We find the next loop here. Right here. We're working on the front loop. Now we do another increase. Right. We do another stitch. So increase two and two inch. Two stitch. Two stitches. Two stitches. So that's two increases. Now I'm gonna do two more here and two more here. And then two here. Two right here. Here to right here, to right there. I said two, two stitches, one increase, two here, two stitches. It's looking good so far here. So last, now let's close it up with chain up, and then in here, we, out of here, with the loop out of here, we do a chain, and then we get the next one. Get the loop out. We're just doing a border chain. Next one. see you shortly here. This is how it's gonna look right here. For the last stitch in here we're going to cut this material but we're gonna cut it and leave a tail 